All right, well, I got everything set up. Um, rather than taking the hive with me, I'm going to try to do the transfer here, and it'll kind of stir them up a little bit, and uh, I'll give them a few hours. I'm at my lunch break right now, so I'll give them a few hours, come back after work, and hopefully they'll be settled down into this top bar hive. Um, we'll see how it goes. Right now I'm cleaning up some of the branches that are hanging over, so it's a little easier to work. I probably should have done that before I started filming, but anyway. I smoked them a little bit. Some people don't like to smoke when they're doing a cutout, especially if you're in like a house. Whoops. In a house or an eave or something. But since we know they're all contained in that bucket, it doesn't matter. When they have them in houses, they don't want to drive the queen or other bees deeper into the house or into the attic. So that's not a concern of ours here. How this is going to go. Forgive my lack of uh, fashion skills. I tucked my jeans into my socks. Um, so they won't crawl up my legs. Right, or move that later. In their way right now. Pretty solid in there. I thought the bottom of the bucket might fall out. It doesn't appear to be happening. So I got to decide do I want to go off the side or do I want to? So I want to try to take the top off, take the lid off, and work in that way. I only get one shot at this. I'm a little nervous, but uh, I guess you just got to dive in feet first and see what happens. Chaos. I think I'm about to unleash Hades. Alright, so my plan is I'm just going to chop this thing in half and open it up. Bees are going to go everywhere. Hope I don't get stung. I was messing with my bees at home last night and got stung through the veil on the chin. That wasn't no fun. I meant to bring a hat, but I forgot. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright. 
little bit unprepared, but you always learn. That's what we're doing today. We are definitely doing some learning. I had a drill sergeant in the Army that told me, Private Bailey, every time you make a mistake, you learn something. And today, you've been doing a whole lot of learning. So, if you come over here, Nice brood, nice and firm. This has got to be the top. Break this one off a little bit. I don't want it to fail again. I don't know if the orientation up and down does matter. Somebody can probably comment and tell me that it does. I think this is the bottom. This one's a little firmer, so we've got a little better luck with that one. Let's set this one aside. Let's grab this one. This one's got some brood in it. All in all, these bees aren't that hot. I mean, I'm sure they're flying everywhere. I mean, wouldn't you? If we knock the doors of your house down or your walls down? But they aren't all up in my face and uh, things like that that are really, you know, there's a couple on my face, but uh, it's really giving me some confidence, you know? That's what I need it. I just really didn't think that much comb could fit in there. That thing was jammed, packed, full of comb. I figured I'd see some queen cells in here for no other reason than this hive is so small. All these bees jammed in here. Alright, I got bees stinging me in my hand. That's alright. Hopefully they don't cross comb it too bad. I'm probably acting a little quicker than I need to, but kind of time constrained by work. And and the brood, it's just all brood nest. There's no honey in here. I really thought there was more of a flow going on. problem. I mean, I think I've been stung once. Uh, my gloves. Which is really amazing. Alright, so now I'm out of clips. I underestimated the size of this hive. I really thought it was going to be a little hive where few clips would do it. I mean, it's just, it goes on and on, that little thing. I don't really know what to do. Kind of trying to think of it on the fly here. Lots of brood. They're really a small bee. It's kind of interesting. Man, I do not know what to do. Alright, let's see if we can salvage this guy. I don't have any zip ties. Oh, I got this one. Hold on, one more. That first one, I sh probably some of those smaller ones I should have made bigger. I made the mistake, once you zip tie them on, you can't really open them up that well anymore. Um, and, uh, 
guess I just noticed where the camera's orientated. I don't think any of this is on film, but you'll just get my commentary. Oh, it broke. Dang it. That's what I get for going with the cheap ones. We're going to have to go get some more zip ties. All right, here's what my idea is. I'm up. I'm going to set this comb in here and try to get these bees to adopt this hive. I'm going to come back after work. More clips. That's the only thing I can think of. Pollen stores. I wonder if the queen was there. They got angry when I moved that one. Some little drone in there, little brood in there. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna shake all the bees right into there. See how this goes. Mm -hmm. this hive back together, um, see if they take to it, man there are a ton of bees here, this live was much stronger and, and bigger than I thought, hopefully we got the queen, not, no real idea on that, all in all they haven't been stinging me as much as they should have been, considering how much I jacked with them. <laughs> All in all, they're pretty gentle. I've killed a lot of bees. I'm going to leave that open. I would give myself a D plus. Not quite a D minus. I did get some things in the comb. These are really hacked off. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about it. I'm going to come back later with some more clips. I'm going to pack up and get out of here.